Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3 text display examples, I got this wonderful comment here. It's in Spanish, but Google Translate worked it out for me. Can you make an example of a sensor that sends data? The receiver can read it on the OLED screen. I shared my old one with the GPS, but he really wants the MPU 6050. Again, on Helltech LoRa32 V3 I to C question, a similar comment. They want to see the MPU 6050 data displayed on the OLED screen. Someone else actually chimed in on that comment as well, saying, yeah, I want to see that too. So, it, and it'll look like this. Yeah, you see the accelerometer and the gyroscope X, Y, and Z values change with the motion of the MPU 6050. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, first let's do the wiring. So ground will go to ground. The 3.3 volt will go to VCC on the MPU 6050. Then pin 42 SCL will go to SCL on the MPU 6050. And finally, pin 41 SDA goes to SDA on the MPU 6050. Yeah, and did a lot of searching for a lot of different sketches. I came up with this one. It's the simplest. It's actually for Arduino, supposedly, but it will actually compile on, on your uh, Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32, and it will display the MPU6050 data on the serial port. But we want it on the display, so... You can download the code, or you can just copy it and paste it if you like. I've got it right here in the Arduino IDE. Yeah, you notice the variables are defined as int 16 at the top there. Yeah, and I'm going to lean heavily on this Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3 text display examples because we've already got a sketch that has the code that's needed to minimally display text on the OLED screen of the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3. So, if you know my channel, I like to do a lot of mashing up. You take two different sketches, take the bits from one sketch, and put them in the bits of another sketch to do something new. And you would think I could just copy the, the, the include file and the definition of the display and paste that under the include section there and the accelerometer gyroscope sketch. Copy and paste the VX off and on functions right here above void setup. I should just be able to copy the initiation of the display. And then it would be a simple matter of copying this code here to display the text on the screen. Should be pretty simple. And I did it, and I did it again, and I did it a different way, and I did it another way altogether, and it didn't work. Basically, you're still competing. As soon as you fire up the display, it changes whatever I to C definition you had for the MPU 6050. So after Sunday, Monday, my third session, Tuesday morning, I found this article here. And this person is saying, use this command, extern to wire, wire one. So we're actually defining a different wire from the original wire. So we will, should be able to overcome that conflict. So you use that extern to wire, wire one, and then you refer to wire one throughout the rest of the sketch. I also need to be able to define these pins, 41 and 42, SCL and SDA. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so here's accelerometer gyroscope display sketch. There's the bits to define the display, and then I call this extern to wire, wire one. Here I defined the SDA and SCL pins, 41, 42. Right, right. Yeah, you see these variables here. I changed them to float instead of int 16 from the original sketch. And there's the VX on and VX off functions just before void setup. Here's my initializing the display. And then you can see I'm using wire one throughout the sketch. Wire begin, SDA pin, SCL pin, and the frequency is 400,000, 400 kilohertz. And then you begin the serial 9600, yep. Yeah? And you see throughout, I'm using wire one. And then it's just a simple matter of using string to convert float to string. 
and the zero decimal places because there was no decimals in the values that we we're getting out. Yeah, I've been through a lot getting, to, getting this to work and th this is broken down into the simplest you can get. Look for the link down below in the description to my GitHub site where you can get the code. Here we see it in action. Yeah, the accelerometer, gyroscope, X, Y, and Z values are responding to the motion of the MPU 6050. I'm feeling pretty good about this. It, was, it took a while to work through it, but yeah, once I saw the wire one thing, it like, yeah, that's going to separate the I to C ports using the second I to C port on the ESP32. So we did it. MPU 6050 on the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3 board. Again, look for the link down below to get the code. Give this video a like. Leave a comment. And before you go watch more of my Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.